Welcome, beautiful people. Episode 78 of the Ignite Your Purpose show, podcast, vlog, chinwag, where two great minds from across the ocean speak about topics. Um, today, we're going to delve into our first uh, atmospheric main stage topic because here in Canada, on the east coast of the country, there was another shooting. Um, and we're all just kind of hearing about this around the world. So John and I wanted to touch on that. My, my reason for talking about this, I mean, there's a lot of them. It's such a deep, deep conversation. And I mean, it's an abyss of endless possibilities. But John's in the, been in the military. He's been trained. He knows what the hell's going on in that realm. Myself, I definitely have a lot of police officers on my side of the family. Um, and I thought it would be good for a civilian to speak with a military man. Huh. And just... Hey, first and foremost, give our condolences. Um, those of who know of, and we definitely do a Love lot of simu yeah, simulation um, tactical training for this stuff. But I could not imagine when I do try and imagine putting myself boots on the ground when that happened. Um, I, I, I cannot imagine the fear. I can't imagine the emotion. I can't imagine what went through their heads. So my heart goes out to everybody who was there and experienced that. And I wish everyone well for starters. John? Yeah, I just want to, just want to share that. Um, uh, you know, we hear about these incidents almost on the daily now. And just because we do hear them on the daily, it doesn't mean that they become any more diluted or less important than the, the, the day before. So we send our love and energy certainly from this side of the Atlantic uh, across, across to yours. And we hope... Um, uh, everybody has the family and the support that they need and the, uh, and the authorities are dealing with it in the professional manner, in which I expect. But um, Max and I, we have these conversations and, and we don't necessarily want to be PC. And what we don't want to do is, is, is again, dilute the seriousness of, the, of this incident. But I, I often look at... Not, not only these, I don't know whether this was just a lunatic or a terrorist or a random act of somebody on heroin or whatever it might be. Yep. But uh, I, I often look at them. Um, and my first thought is how much more serious could it have been? How many more people might have lost their lives? Because I see guys running around with machine pistols, machine guns, rifles, and, you know, one death is enough. Yes. I, I cannot see how these, these news articles aren't coming up and they're going to say there's, and there's 20, 30, 40, 50 people. And there are incidents where we have that number. Um, but, but these guys, they're, they're, they're tooled up. They've got freaking magazines strapped all over them. Uh, so that, that's kind of my, my first observation is, uh, you know, if there's only two dead at the moment, send our love. Uh, and there's 13, 15, 18 injured. But, um, you know, thanks be to whoever it is we look to that uh, it could have been much, much worse. Um, so, Max, you spin for a bit and uh, I'll come back when I've had a think. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. It's, um, you know, you wonder... I mean, again, I wasn't there. I don't know, you know, if there was tons of people around, but you, you do wonder how, you know, thankfully, whoever's looking down, there was only out of how many people could have been hurt. There was only very few hurt. So that's a blessing. Um, and then it, we get into this talk all the time, right? You know, we want to call everything an act of terrorism when, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But we get into this talk of, of the gun itself, right? And from the amount of police officers I've talked to and security I've talked to, and I'm not talking like a security guard in a mall, John, you, you've been at these underground trainings. Um, we're talking high-level security for heads of state, for, you know, dignitaries from other countries. And they all say the same thing to me. Like, you know, it's, it's if criminals want to get these tools, they will get them. It, you know what I mean? Um, it's – so the conversation then becomes, what, what do you do? Do we just stop making them? burn them all and nobody can have them or how do you do this like how can you just have bodyguards who protect somebody have them and none of us you know what i mean it gets to be such a diluted twisted conversation that 
you know, I can't find up from down half the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, it becomes so freaking political over the Let's call it. Yes. You, what, what's, what's the deal in Canada? Have you got the right to bear arms in Canada or do you need licensed or not like? What's the deal? Yeah, you, no, we, we need, uh, you need, you know, perm. Losing Max. Come back, buddy. I'm here. I'm okay. here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, even police officers, if they're transporting their guns, it has to be locked in a safe. Um, rules are very high here. I, I, just like on your side of the world, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. But, but incidentally, on, on, on the handguns in the UK, uh, on UK mainland, uh, there's really, really tight regulations on it. But on the Isle of Man, um, I think, I think we're, people are allowed to own their own handguns. And we've got a couple of ranges around the island, but uh, it's, it's pretty well regulated. Um, I, I, always, I always think back to, there was a comedian I listened to last year, an Australian guy, and he was, I can't remember the whole spin, but one comment he said is people have got the, the right to defend themselves in their own home. Don't deny that, but on those occasions where somebody's breaking in your house, you've got to get upstairs, go downstairs, into the garage, get it out of the cupboard, unlock it, load it. Um, I don't necessarily think having arms at home if you look after them correctly. Uh, are necessarily going to protect you. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a tricky conversation. Um, it, it really is. It's uh, it's it's a never-ending conversation with the world we live in. Um, but you know, back back to the fact, you know, those who are involved in those issues. I mean, I just my heart goes out to them, John. I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say other than that, really. Yeah, I think maybe there's, there's another conversation we can have because. Let's take terrorism and all the lunatics out, put them on side. But when these young kids are doing it from, uh, from, you know, going into the high school and shooting their friends and their teachers, I think that may show a uh, glaring hole in the educational system that we're, we're teaching maths and science and physics and English and all the rest of it, but we're not teaching our children how to communicate, how to speak, how to share, how to listen, how to have patience, how to have empathy, how to ask somebody if they need help, uh, how to spot these things. You know, we're all very quick to put the fences up, put security guards up, have the metal detectors on the way to school. We're not doing it with our kids. And I don't have kids, I just observe it. They, they, they haven't got the, the, lots of adults don't have these social skills either. Oh. Of course. Basic fundamentals in life. It should be part of school, just the same as any curriculum. You know, empathy, understanding, patience, communication, um, meditation, mindfulness. How to yeah. how how to steady the mind. How to not react to things. How to uh, how to be able to process your own thoughts and to understand why you behave as you do, or why you've grown up in a certain way. Um, and instead of that, instead of that, we have video game violence, right? Like video games are a massive thing. And then we have Hollywood, like movies that, you know, just the, the games and the movies glorify a certain lifestyle, right? So, yeah, you know, you could talk, you could call it societal influence. I mean, again, it's another rabbit hole, but I mean, it is what it is. We just want to give you kind of our version of the, you know, how our minds think, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, let's, let's, let's be open to having an open dialogue, you know, an open debate of what's really going on. on. Yeah, and that, yeah, that must be the first stage is getting this conversation going, stepping away from the same old, same old, we've always done it like this. There was a guy doing a presentation recently and he's a high level accountant auditor and he goes into businesses where they're in trouble and he says, every single business that is about to go under, but we've always done it like this. Every single business that I go into that have financial problems and I'm in the process of closing down, we've always done it like this. This is the way it's done. And they won't change. And they, they, they have been, they've been unable to change. But, you know, we, we talk about Gary V uh, from time to time. Uh, and if any of us think for a second, we're not going to be walking around with contact lenses in our eyes and chips in our arm in 20 years' time. You're on another freaking planet. You know, yep. 
this stuff is coming. So um, it is. It very. It really is. And to, and to end on a on a positive note, people. Remember that for every one terrible thing we read about, there's been ten hundred billion terrible <laughs> things. So that's that's how we want to end this. Know that that is just a point zero 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 one percent of what's going on in the world. Yet it's one of the few things reported on. Another another weird fact. The the media loves the hype. The media yeah. loves the sensation, but it, there's there's no there's no money in in lovely stories yeah. about kittens and. Huge pumpkin pies and things. So that's it. Uh, we've just we've just spoken today. We've just chatted. It wasn't really a question. Uh, there's not even really a, a takeaway. We'd love to hear your opinion on it. Why do you think it might happen? You know, what do you think about guns? We're not going to get political. If you like guns, great. If you don't like guns, great. Um, let's just get conversation going because that that's where it begins, fellas, ladies, gents. Um, from me to you, thank you. Uh, we appreciate your time. Uh, we will see you in the morrow. Thanks, John. Appreciate the chinwag. Talk to you soon. See you soon, buddy. Bye-bye.